and up. I just knew that I had a dream. I had a, I had a, something in my heart that I wanted to do, and I just did it. And that's just like really how it's been. How have you been able to like live day to day with LA being so expensive? Um, sheesh, it's, it's crazy. A lot of people don't even know this. Okay, so I went home back in November, and um, when I went home for November. I was like, yo, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I it's crazy. I had just got like it's crazy. I got fired from my server job because I was I gonna use my little tips, my server job to go home for Thanksgiving, just save up on that bread. Like I was gonna be good and then come back to work. It's crazy because you know what I'm saying, when you work in these jobs and these gym jobs, like you know what I'm saying, these server jobs, you're not gonna get no, you don't get like no PTO. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when if you don't work, you really don't eat. So like I tell my mom and them kind of what was going on. Cause like, you know, like I said, being proudful, not wanting to tell people like what's going on. Um I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have no brother. I don't, I don't have a job. It's the holidays. I'm kind of depressed too. So it's my, you know what I'm saying, December. December is like one of my best favorite holidays of the year. And I was just in, in LA. My birthday was in um, here. And I was in good spirits. I had a lot, I had a good time. I had friends who was here with me to lift me up and encourage me. But um, but it, it was still hard. But, um, and it's something that people don't even notice to this day. Uh, so when I got home, I was like, I was like, my own number do. And then I was like, you know what? I need to figure it out. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just wipe. I'm gonna wipe out my whole for one. Okay, like I'm, I said, I said Jamal, if you really want this, you gotta do whatever you can, no matter what anyone says, to make this this dream a reality for you. So I wiped out my whole for one. Okay, and um, that like honestly, that was that wasn't by the grace of God. They got they literally got me through November all the way through January. You know what I'm saying? I paid I paid rent literally uh, for December and January because I didn't have no bread. But with my for one. Okay, I wiped out my full, whole for one. Okay, but it's like y'all like. I knew that this is what God had for me, man. And I'm like, you know what? If I got to sleep with my car, if I got to wipe out my, wipe out my whole phone, okay? Whatever I need to do to make sure this dream is going to be attainable, I'm going to do it. And people don't understand that to this day. But it's like, you know, when we look at people like the Steve Harveys, the Taraji P. Hensons, the people who literally bet it on themselves. They, they literally had a dream and they just, they just tapped into it. No matter what anyone said, they kept going. That's my inspiration. So... Yes, I went down my whole phone okay, and literally it was crazy. Like, it was time for February rent, and I didn't have no bread. I found my, my taxes at the time. And literally when I tell you guys, like, literally when I tell you guys, like, it was it was February 5th, and my rent was February 1st. I didn't have nothing for rent at all. I had nothing for rent. And I had got my tax refund back on that February 5th, and I was like, you know what? Like, this is nothing but God. Like, this is, I know this is. I know like what I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be here. Literally, I know I'm supposed to be here. Um, and it's, it's just been, I just been, I just, every time like a, a situation happened, it's like I come out on top. And um, back in March, last March, uh, with this, not, dang, this month, March, March 1st, um, I was only working with jobs. I was, I was working like a temp job too. I do a lot of temp work too, at, at least in apartments, things like that. Because like I said, like it's a quick, quick, easy check. You know what I'm saying? Like you kind of get in and get out. And uh, this was honestly, a couple of weeks back was probably one of the most hardest moments of my life. And I think it was one of the reasons why now I'm so hungry to get back to doing what I love. Because it taught me, it taught me the value of family. It taught me, it taught me the value of friendships. And it taught me like people really, really do, people really do love you. And it was a tough time. So long story short, I'm going to just say, because I just believe in keeping it real. I didn't have nothing for rent, literally y'all. Like, nothing like for rent. I had like three hundred dollars in my name, and I got paid February twenty fifth. And I'm like, you know what, God? I'm like, what am I gonna do? I feel like I just feel like I'm just like in this box. I'm in this weird season of my life. I'm like, okay, I know I'm supposed to be here, but it's like, God, like I'm getting these opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I got signed with an agent. You know what I'm saying? Like, good things was happening. I can't even lie. Like, it was although it was just like a lot of good things happening. I just want to kind of just show you guys what. You guys don't see behind my Instagram, my, my likes, my comments, all of that. Like, cause I, all that, all that don't matter to me, yo. Like, I want people to understand. Like, when you really just understand, like, you are valuable. There's nothing that anyone can tell you that you can't do, and you literally are. You're the creator of your own. You're the creator of your own vision, literally. And so, fast forward, like going back to that. My pride, I had to, I had to let my pride down. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just hit up people like, you know what I'm saying? On some like, yo, like I'm going through it. And um, I hit up a few people. And literally, guys, when I tell you, I literally raised like a $1,000 in three days. 
And uh, going through that, going through that, going through that season, going through that process for me, like it showed me, man, like the enemy can sometimes kind of get in your brain to make you feel like nobody's here for you. But people really do aspire and like really, you know what I'm saying, really want the best for you. I'm not going to say that name because I'm pretty sure they don't, you know what I'm saying, want, like, I don't know if they want, you know what I'm saying, to be, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to say their names. Uh, it was a lot of people, you know, one of my neos, people, I, I, I was very strategic about who I hit up to. I wanted to, pe pe like, people that I felt like I had a genuine connection with. I know I could hit up anybody. I know I could have made a post, but, um, like, my homegirl, like, uh, Sykira, Kelsey, my friend Kaylor, my bro Naja, my bro uh, Josh. Jeff, my bro Jeff, like um, both Jeff, Jeff Ryan, and my bro Jeffrey, my Neo, uh, and so many other people, my family members, like so, who just was like giving me money. They were just like, it was such a, it, for me, it was such a, um, it was it was such it was just a, a, a nice feeling knowing that people genuinely, people genuinely wanted to see me succeed, and sometimes like we get in our head a lot. We like we. We get in our head a lot, and it's like, I'm not even about to get emotional, but we get in our head a lot because we feel like nobody don't really want to like, see us succeed, but it really just took me going through all of these these situations and things to know that people genuinely want me, like, want to succeed, and sometimes we just don't understand that because it's like, we so clouded and we let pride get in the way, you know what I mean? It's like, but I'm not saying, like, it, it, that experience showed me, man, like, Jamal, there's nothing that you can't do. Like, there's literally nothing that you can't do, man. So, like, the, the struggle is so, it's, it's, it's so hard, like, but it's so worth it. You know what I mean? Like, it's so hard, but it's so worth it, literally. When I tell you, like, that journey, the struggle that I've been through out here, it's a different type of fight. So, when I when I wake up every day, it's like, I don't have time for people who just know that, that mindset of, like, by any means necessary. Because if you got to get it, you know, no matter how you get it, you got to go out and be a, uh, go out and, um, you know what I'm saying, work at a grocery store. It don't matter. Just do it. And do it to the best, of your, the best of your ability, and um, and so moving forward to now, like literally this last week, and I'm like, okay, God, like the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? Like things was, I'm back. I was literally getting back in my groove. I just got another job. I was back in my groove. Now, you know what I'm saying? All the works is like done. Like all of the companies are shut down. All of that, and so um, I was. It's crazy. Like, like I woke up last Thursday, and I was just like praying. I'm like, God, like I'm just gonna be applying to jobs. Even though, I, honestly, at one point, I even applied for unemployment because I'm like, you know what? Like, I, I need to just get some type of bread, like, coming in. Um, and I got an opportunity to, like, work some, like, you know what I'm saying, like, production assistant, PA in at a couple of sets. And that was a blessing because I was able to, you know what I'm saying, use that money to really survive, like, uh, like for the, you know what I'm saying, the past two weeks, for real, for real, for real. And, uh... It was crazy because, um, I, like I said, I was in my. I woke up one day. I was like, I'm gonna just keep finding jobs, and I was in this um, in cap my HBCU, North Carolina A and T. Aggie pride is nationwide. Aggies look out for Aggies, I swear. So I was like, it was an education job. It was like working like a like like a three month temporary job because like you know a lot of a lot of schools are closed down. So what I'd be doing is I'd be helping out. You know what I'm saying? People. Um, get people on board to this program that they're doing. So, like, what I did is, I'm like, I'm gonna apply. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna apply. Ended up applying when I tell you got the job the same day. And I literally start tomorrow. So, it's just like, it, it's like every time I'm stuck with like a, like I'm stuck with like a, um, a situation or something that kind of like, oh, like, I'm gonna get through it. God always comes through, y'all. Like, so I'm saying, like, it's hard. Sometimes you, I know sometimes we like, we like to plan stuff day by day, or like, you know what I'm saying, but, or like week by week. When I tell you guys, when I just learn to just live each day, each day as it comes, I begin to just move different, talk different. Everything works itself out, literally. You know, it's, it's a hard journey, but, you know, it's what you do to to keep going, to uh, to not let it affect you and to not let it stop you, literally. Straight up. Uh, and one, one other question is, what keeps you going? Honestly, guys, I really, I think what keeps me going is the fact that I, I know when you just, when you just get to a point like where you just know what you're called to do on this earth, like I got to that point where it's like, I'm, I know what I'm called to do. I know what God has for me, like everything I've been through, you know what I mean? Like literally from like losing weight, um, from getting surgery on my chest, something that people don't even know about. Like I was from, you know, moving, like moving to LA, it's like, you know, like at the end of the day, it's like, I gotta just, I gotta just. 
I control everything that I control everything that I want. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, like if I wanna, if I wanna be that change agent, if I wanna be that person, that motivational speaker, if I wanna be that actor, if I wanna be that person that people can relate to, I gotta go through it. And so that's why honestly guys, when I tell you guys this epidemic, this virus, all this my roommate, <laughs> all of this stuff is really allowing me to come back to who I am, my passion, my motivational speaking. And I, it's crazy, like, the first one to LA is like that. The first year in LA is about figuring it out, figuring out the system, figuring out the people, figuring out the culture, figuring out the environment. But now the guys, I'm so fired up. I'm so pumped up. I realize that um, I have more to talk about because I've been through so much. And it's just like, like I said, God uses everything that we go through. Um, I think I'm spitting like crazy. That we go through literally, literally uh, to push us and to make us better every single day, literally. What would you tell someone who's just afraid to jump? I would say, uh, I would just say, just do it. That's never gonna be a perfect time, like I always say. Tap into your greatness, guys. Like when I when I say tap into your greatness, I mean tap in, like literally tap all the way in. Do not let anyone or any situation or anyone tell you different. This is coming from me, like. You guys see a lot of things that I post, like a lot of things that's a lot of good stuff that I post. But I'm trying to tell y'all, like, I don't have it all together. I do not have it all together. I'm still figuring it out. But my thing is at least try to figure it out doing what you love. Like, I'm not saying go quit your job. I'm not saying go take a loan. I'm not saying why be a phone okay. Do what works best for you. You know what I'm saying? If you go take a bet on it, I'm like, if I'm gonna take a bet on myself, I need to do I need this all, all option all options because there is no plan B for me. There is no plan, like there, this is the only plan that I have. Like, this is the only plan that I have. This is my by one shot, my one opportunity. And so I think while we're going through these, like all of this stuff going on, this is the time for us to be literally mentally tapped in. Like, and so, and I know it's like people don't have a lot of jobs, especially a lot of people in creators. Like a lot of people creators in LA, we work, we are servers, we work at gyms, we are, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 you know what I'm saying? We work in production and pay our bills, but it's like all of that is stopped. So it's like, use this time, honestly, guys, to really just like align yourself, not only like to God, like to your, to your mental, like to your goals and figure out what you want to do when all this is over and how to become the best version of yourself. You know what I mean? And how, how to come out on top. Um, and any advice? Uh, I kind of, I kind of think I already said this, but, um, just do it. I wanted to do this video because I want people to really just to see like my life behind all of the IG all of the likes, all of that stuff, like, it's, it's, it's real, we, I be having some real issues, literally, but the thing is, I just don't allow it to affect me, I don't allow it to stop me, I don't allow it to put me in a box where I can't tap into my greatness, I don't allow it to, like, I don't allow it to take control of me, I control, I control my outcome, I control the ending of how I want things to be, and I know that I'm here doing things, I'm here in LA for a reason, and I know the award is gonna be so much bigger, I already see it right now, and so um, I'm using this time really just to work on myself mentally, and I would I would just say to you guys, who, if there's anyone out there who literally is just going through a tough time or just trying to figure out what's next, just try, trust your gustings, yeah, trust your instincts, I'm sorry, I said gustings, trust your instincts, never be afraid to ask for help, and always just know that you were created to be amazing. You were created to to go after your dreams. You were created to tap into your greatness. You were created to to really exhaust, any, do anything that you want to do in this world. And can't nobody tell you different. Like I literally got to that point. Like I used to be so I used to care so much about what people say, as we all as we all do. But being out here has really allowed me to tap into my inner to my inner selves, learn them all all over again, and realize that man, like I'm so powerful. Like we're powerful. Like you know what I'm saying. Like we are powerful beyond measure. So when I begin to connect myself with who I am as an individual, things begin to be so much better. So I didn't want to, I know this a little lengthy. I didn't want to make it too long, but I wanted to let you guys know, man, that I love you guys. I'm so tapped back in. You guys, and I'm doing a lot more videos like this, honestly, more. Um, I don't care about, I don't care about none of this stuff. I don't care about no lights. I don't care about none of that stuff. I just care about delivering a good message and doing what God is telling me to do and laying my heart. So Love you guys. You guys are amazing. Keep being amazing. And I hope that um, you have to see greatness. And if you have any other video ideas for me, it won't be, probably won't be too lengthy, guys. But I feel like this was a, this was a, um, a story that needed to be told. And I want people to realize that, yeah, it may look, it may look like it's a lot of good things, stuff on the outside, which it is. And I'm so thankful for it. But everything is, it's a grind. Everything is a sacrifice. Everything is, is, is going on to the, is going after it. So, um, it just takes you actually believing in it to know that it can happen so much love drink your water
and stay safe.